Hey Pisces, welcome. Bringing you a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Just a short intro. Um, we do have lots of retrogrades that are stationing direct, so I wanted to make you aware of them. On the 6th of October, same day as the new moon in Libra, we had Pluto stationing direct in Capricorn. On the 10th, we had Saturn stationed direct in Aquarius. Pluto is the great awakener and Saturn the great teacher. So all of that very heavy energy that we've been sort of moving through quicksand with since the spring, we should now feel some forward motion and we are right like practically in in the eve of mercury stationing direct and entering his post shadow phase Whew. so i hope you're feeling some small measures of relief and more and more will come and we also have the full moon in aries on the 20th where we really get to shake it off as taylor swift would say so moving into your oracle um i'm starting with the enchanted map you got some interesting numerology i'll start there we have a four a 40 and a 44. i'd google those numbers i really would uh the 44 is a master number we don't reduce it the 40 the zero is a little extra angel protection that drops off and we there's you know, we have a four so we have four four and 44. interesting <clears throat> fours are about structure and stability <coughs> excuse me hmm <clears throat> i do not know what that's about so the enchanted map you got spirit of place and one part of this card talks about um everything having spirit having a soul um that's an animist approach to existence but what it's really trying to tell you in spirit of place is be here now um, the answers to your questions can be found in the overarching theme of the situation so for example just an example if you're seeking love then embody love rather than long for it and it's um you know embody it in a way that you constantly are feeding yourself messages of love and it's part it's like a little tangent on what i like to talk about when i say the universe wants to give you what you want but it responds to the dominant energy if your energy your dominant energy is longing for love you're going to get more longing <laughs> so uh, this kind of is a tangential um connection to that the the next card you got from sacred forest is standing stones this is one of my favorite cards because it reminds me of the series outlander if you have not seen it i think the first four episodes are on for first four um seasons are on netflix crazy good crazy good and this card is taken directly from that so the standing stones um talks about passages and a spiritual journey from one realm to another uh, so if, for example the um, heroine in the um series she has some connection to another lifetime so it's a very twin flamey series and she travels there through these stones by placing her hands on the stones and and that is her um access point to another realm but i digress so this is about a voyage of the heart and soul uh and it's telling you that there's deeper meaning waiting to be discovered there's something deeper uh, that you're about to experience or that um, you need to search for the meaning of probably not the best grammar it's early then from shaman's dream you got perfect storm card 44 i love the black raven here it says the courage to step into life and i'm going to read this one because um there's so much good stuff here and i don't want to i don't want to miss anything that may speak to one of you so perfect storm when the perfect storm appears it cautions you to be ready for an exciting if turbulent time 
the winds are picking up and you need to make sure that you are close to the eye of the storm or you will be buffeted by gusts that may take you far from where you need to be. So very interesting that you get this passage into another realm. Just saying. The key is to remain centered and balanced and bear witness as the forces build in intensity. Notice how the loose stuff is starting to fly around and recognize how little of it you truly need. Let go of those thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes that clutter your heart and cloud your mind. Then the storm will be absolutely perfect for you. If you wonder what you might be, what you might lose during the perfect storm, know that it is those things we are most attached to that are taken first, as if life were trying to unburden us of our righteous self-importance. Let it all go with the wind. The less you resist the change brought by the perfect storm, the happier you will be. Ride the winds to your next destination. Embrace the rain or snow. Remember that every time you try to argue with nature, you will lose. Okay? The perfect storm can also be a call for you to seize the moment. There might be a great opportunity that you need to take advantage of right now. Carpe diem. Here, time is of the essence. It may be gone shortly, so do not hesitate. Go ahead, bite off more than you can chew, and take the storm on in all its terrifying greatness, experiencing the fullness of life. You will succeed. So, power-packed message for card 44 here. And I love that the 44 is here because there's no stability or security in a storm. Okay? So it's sort of telling you that there's something that may come in to disrupt your um, sense of security and stability. And almost as if it's saying, you know, ride it, ride it out, go with it, get as close to the center of the storm as you can uh, to brace yourself because stuff's going to be going on around you, P Pisces. Really fascinating, interesting. It never ceases to amaze me how even when they seem, um, they're, 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 there's like seemingly no connection between cards, it always kind of comes together. So that's the theme of your reading. Moving on to tarot. Okay, so I'm wishing you a good weekend. Um, for those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. I hope if you enjoy the reading, you will can well, consider joining us by subscribing. Don't forget to like the video. And these readings, the tower readings, are offered for convenience and clarity from the perspective of the divine feminine. That does not mean that the divine masculine isn't present. There's no way you can avoid that. The extendeds are from the perspective of the divine masculine. And I'll talk about that in a bit. Oh. Hmm. Justice. Present energy coming through is about harmony and balance. Wow. And the High Priestess. There you are, Pisces. We have Libra and Pisces. Very interesting. Um, interesting because Mercury is in Libra. So, and Libra, Mercury and Libra impacts our communication and relationships. And because Mercury is about to station direct, it could be bringing back some balance with communication because you know the high priestess doesn't, there's no talking, there's separation and no communication. So we could be looking at that. Uh, I love that we kick it off with two major arcana. Um, King of Cups underneath, so Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Uh, representing here what I feel is divine masculine energy, maybe somebody who, um, this is the love, this is the one you love, this could be also someone who's struggling to express themselves emotionally, who may be emotionally unavailable, we'll, we'll check that out in the past, four of wands. So the past sort of represents where we've been from, like what, re what led up to this present situation? Right, recognition of the twin, the beginning of um, a sacred connection, a soul connection. Mm, my goodness, what crowns you? Knight of Cups. 
Somebody coming in with an offer of love. Um, and going forward, we have the devil. This has come up in a bunch of your readings, <coughs> Pisces. Um, and just for those of you who are new, it has represented someone that the divine masculine is dealing with. Spirit says, Ace of Wands, this is your guidance from Spirit. There's, this is the torch of passion. This is divine inspired passion. It represents um, either, you know, new passion or a reignition of the torch of passion. It's uh, motivation. It's action personified. Really great card. Here's the energy that surrounds you. You may be unaware of. Five of Pentacles, somebody feeling very unstable on you know um going through a rough time could even be financial they could be um experiencing a period of loss and instability they may feel left out in the cold wow your hopes and or fears i think this is a hope six of wands right this is victory a happy homecoming um, it feels to me like it's a little bit less about reconciliation and more about that energy of, you know, we did it, we made it, right? Happiness, success, um, vindication even on some level. I usually feel that the justice card is vindication, but the way this is coming through, it feels a little bit of that too. And of course, because there's the outcome, Ten of Cups. Right, so this is really beautiful. We have the Four of Wands. We have the Ten of Cups. There is happiness and love here. Uh, there is a connection. And I do feel you're in separation. That's been, you know, most of the story. Or if not separation, separation. Um, periods of where you can't kind of access each other. I'm saying that because the High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles. Okay, so we have Libra, Pisces, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Capricorn. Those are the energies coming through right now. Oh my gosh, I am, I'm going to be honest, Pisces, love you, um, but I'm, I'm a little distracted at the moment. It feels like I have um, pressure in my ears, almost like. I'm trying, something's trying to come through and it's being blocked. And my throat's dried out. It's all part of the experience. Yeah, there's going to be some, um, a restoration of balance here, justice. There may even be a legal situation that we're looking at here because of the five of wands. The Fool, and there's the Nine of Pentacles. I kind of feel you're the Nine of Pentacles here, sort of. Um, no, you know what? I'm going to take that back. It could be either of you. could be both of you. Um, there could be someone becoming single. There could be somebody going through separation or divorce. I'm only saying that because it's come out through your other readings. Um, but if not, it, there's definitely, uh, you know, some turning of the page with the Fool, some, you know, uh, some energy of no longer need the conflict. I've got the balance and stability. I'm, I'm seeking the balance and stability, and that's what I'm going for. And here is the single person, the nine of pentacles, feeling a sense of empowerment. So it could be you. It could be your divine counterpart. You, it could be both of you. Hmm. Interesting. King of cups. <laughs> You saw it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the King of Cups with the Two of Cups. So what's rolling around in your psyche here and your subconscious is. Um, oh, OK. So I feel like there, the, the, and the devil is the reminder to you in this particular storyline that there is a third party. And um, this King of Cups has some regrets about that. I, I almost feel like you feel some heaviness and sorrow around the situation too. You're very connected to this divine masculine Pisces. You're very connected. And you may be here as a feminine of another sign too. So just, you know, 
adjust the reading accordingly. But I definitely feel like this th third party energy is um, causing a lot of grief and causing a lot of grief for the masculine and the feminine is feeling it by proxy. That's part of what happens in our connections is we can even feel their, you know, their energy shifts um, from hundreds of miles away around, around the world. It doesn't matter. You can feel it. You can sense the shifts. And I feel that's what's going on here. Four of Wands in the past. Yes, Eight of Cups, Emperor. So the Divine Masculine kind of had to, had to flee the scene because of a Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands and the Devil in this case are the same um, person coming through. There's definitely a karmic partner attached to the Divine Masculine. That is a a very consistent theme in your readings so if that's not a situation for you this may just not be your reading at this time um, but this is a twin flame connection you and your divine counterpart and they had to leave due to the interference of um, the queen of wands so when i say leave i mean leave i mean like get out of dodge <coughs> which may be why the justice card is here right and formalizing it i think they left and now they've got to formalize it knight of cups so what crowns you just fyi because i forgot to say what crowns you is um it sort of represents your aspiration or what will serve you best in achieving your desired outcome And we have the Knight of Cups, Queen of Pentacles, Three of Swords, and the Moon. So I feel as if you're like, you're like a solid port in a storm for this masculine. They have a heavy heart. They have a lot of fear. And there you are, Queen of Pentacles, solid, grounded, stable, nurturing. And I do feel this person wants to come toward you um, with their heart wide open, but for some reason they have fears. Their heart's heavy about it. And I feel it's because you've been left out of a lot of the information. I feel there's a lot you intuit, um, High Priestess, but that you don't know for sure. And that could be partly your fear, too, that this uh, Knight of Cups is wounded, right, is, is really hurting. Oh, and I said um, Solid Port in a Storm, and there's that Perfect Storm card, too. So interesting. I didn't even put that together. Okay, the Devil going forward. person will not let go oh interesting <clears throat> i am speaking this is getting really specific and this has happened in the past um you know some some readings that i've been doing lately um about halfway through it turns really super specific like a personal reading so i'll just let you know that if it starts to feel too specific i'm just going to read the cards the devil with the four of pentacles there's someone who's not willing to let go they have their heels dug in that this is a karmic um, partner in a not so positive way. Um, I almost feel a sense of this person being diabolical, would go to any lengths to hold on to what they believe is theirs, and then in comes justice. And justice ain't playing, and underneath is the commitment card, right? The Hierophant. So I definitely feel like this devil is being challenged by higher powers, by higher authorities, by higher legal authority, by higher spiritual authority, the marriage bond, correct? If so, if you're, if you're dealing with someone who's married and they're dealing with a very toxic person, I feel like all these challengers are coming forward. Now, why is it here in your reading if it's happening to your divine counterpart? 
because what happens to them happens to you in essence. But this person isn't wanting to let go. Whoever this person is, this queen of wands, devil energy is, is not wanting to let go. I also feel like it will be difficult um, for you to kind of not get in the middle of it if this person does in fact return. So I'm just making, you know, a note of that so that you're prepared. And interesting, right in this part, next to it is that five of pentacles. And I, I'm feeling like I'm talking about um, a divine masculine who may kind of be... Um, out of out of the home proper out on their own you know financially in duress um yeah message from spirit of the universe is the ace of wands you guys are so connected um you and your divine counterpart you guys are so connected that you bleed into each other's readings um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a double water sign reading that, you know, King of Cups kind of sort of suggests that in the absence of that, there's just a lot of water between the two of you, a lot of emotion and deep emotion. Hmm. Spirit's telling you to wait for, wait for this conversation, right? There, like something's going to pop off here. The, 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 the the flame of love still burns bright here. So it's telling you, don't worry. Um, stay patient. This will all unfold organically. There, there may be some travel involved. Um, this person that left may return. The communication may open up. Six of Pentacles underneath and restore a sense of balance and some give and take and reciprocity between you. So it's almost telling you if this person should return and communication is um, restored, you know, be generous. Be generous about it. You know, give way to it. Allow it to unfold organically here. Five of Pentacles, right? Because this person may be on hard times. page of cups. Well, now I've got like an interesting thought about this five of pentacles. So it shifts a little bit. Sometimes that happens when you clarify. Now it sort of feels as if when this person left, remember they, the eight of this masculine left and then, you know, the knight of cups, the offer wants to come in, but there's fear and heartache around it. It may be that they feel badly that they kind of ghosted you, that they just sort of split and left no word, you know? So I'm seeing a message of love or apology around that five, like this person feels sorry <coughs> for the five of pentacles energy that they might have stuck you with. Two of pentacles, they're feeling torn. Wow, temperance. So... Things are up in the air for this person. This is the energy you may be unaware of. Like what's going on with them? What are they thinking and feeling? I kind of feel like they're trying to sort of control their impulses um, with the temperance card. They're, this person's being exceedingly patient as they try to extract themselves from whatever hellish nightmare they've gotten themselves into. But they feel badly about the lack of communication, the distance, I'm not even going to call it ghosting. I really feel like this person has been in self-preservation mode. And you'll know that to be true if it is for you. And then this two of pentacles is like, like, what do I do about it? When do I make this offer? When do I, when, when do I speak the words from my heart? And temperance is saying, you'll know, you'll know when, just wait. So I do feel they're a little torn because they're sort of trying to assess what's going on um, on the ground, and yet at the same times they same time they know temperance and the seven of pentacles. You're sort of a little mirrored here because spirit's telling you everything's going to unfold organically, and temperance is telling them, do not act on impulse. 
<laughs> control yourself. It will all, you know, work out. You got to let all the energies come into balance first. Wow. Six of wands, hopes and fears. Oh, Pisces, you are such a beautiful soul. I mean, I love you all. Um, you really, I mean, I mean, you really want this person to be whole. You want them to take the time they need to heal. That's your wish. That's your wish, right? You want them to have that triumphant return and, and return whole and to be clear about it, the Knight of Pentacles is slow and deliberate and intentional and methodical. And they take their time. And I feel like, you know, your greatest hope is that they take their time so that when they do return, it's a triumphant homecoming and that they're healed. So this hope, this wish um, is from your heart, I believe, right? And I believe it's on behalf of your twin, of your divine masculine. Wow. Y'all choke me up. Ten of cups. Oh, I love this. I love it. So we have the return of, well, first of all, the king of cups underneath. Okay. So uh, potential outcome here is that they, they do return, that we do have um, some completion here on an emotional level, and you're dealing with a changed person. Um, the King of Swords, I always tell you, this is somebody that comes from high vibration, integrity, honor, truth. They live by higher principles and standards and kind of hold all the rest of us to it as well. Uh, at times they can be distant and aloof and not real warm and fuzzy, but I feel like if that is the case for you, that's about to change. There's the emotional availability coming in. This person, when they return, and when I say return, they could be living down the block from you and you, know, and you could like never uh, cross paths. So it doesn't mean like they're uh, you know, across the country. What I'm trying to say is that when they return to you energetically in physical form, they will be a different person. Things will be very different. They will have been transformed. And all that honor and integrity will also show up through their emotional expression. Beautiful. My God, Pisces. Thank God you're my last reading for the week. Okay, let me tell you who showed up. As I said, Libra, Pisces. We have Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Aries, can be uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius in that Queen of Wands. We have um, the Queen of Pentacles, can be Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. None of the kings and queens have to be that, but... I like to let you know more Pisces, Capricorn, more Libra, Taurus, um, Sagittarius, more Aquarius, Scorpio. And we have the King of Swords can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. So lots of energy here. When I take it to the extended, I'm going to pull a card just like I did for you here for the Divine Masculine. How are they showing up? What's their present energy? We're going to look at how they see this situation, what they think, you know, what they're thinking, what they, how they see things how they feel about you and their intentions going forward. I'll, I'll also pull a card from Spirit of the Universe for you. So some advice of what to do with all the energy. And I'll close out with some additional Oracle. The link to the extended is below. Oh my gosh, I hope to see you there, Pisces. Please, please, please. And <laughs> take into account all the beautiful Oracle that came through for you. And I will see you at the extended or in a future reading. Have a great weekend. Bye for now.